It was just over a year ago that President Barack Obama announced a new era in high-speed rail transportation that would begin in Tampa. Well, today those plans ended in Tallahassee with the governor's decision to turn away the money. The rail line would have connected Tampa to Orlando with a stop in Lakeland. By some estimates, it would have created at least 24,000 jobs. The $2.4 billion in federal money was projected to cover 90% of the construction cost, with private contractors picking up the remaining 10%. Rick Scott gave three reasons for turning down the money. First, capital cost overruns from the project could put Florida taxpayers on the hook for an additional $3 billion. Second, ridership and revenue projections are historically overly optimistic and would likely result in ongoing subsidies that state taxpayers would have to incur. Finally, if the project becomes too costly for taxpayers and is shut down, the state would have to return the $2.4 billion in federal funds to D.C. The governor's announcement comes as a big disappointment to those who may have benefited from this. Eric Waxler joins us now with reaction from Polk County. Good evening, Eric. Brendan, sandwiched between Tampa and Orlando, Polk County had high hopes for high-speed rail. There were big plans surrounding the proposed stop in Lakeland. But with today's announcement by the governor nixing the project, leaders say they will lose out on a huge opportunity for progress. Where I-4 intersects with the Polk Parkway, plans are already underway for USF Polytechnic's new campus. It was also a possible location for a stop on the high-speed rail line connecting Tampa and Orlando. It was going to be a major area of the county that we were going to develop. We put a lot of investment into that area in roads and infrastructure. Polk County Commissioner Bob English says without the rail stop, that project loses much of its glamour. I feel actually sad because I had high hopes that in my term that I would see the beginnings and even possibly a rail going through Polk County. Lakeland Mayor Gal Field says his community was excited about the future, especially after President Obama came to the Bay Area promoting the rail project. Now there's a much different feeling. A little bit of shock and disappointment as well. It's one of those things that you knew it could happen, but we were hopeful. Officials in Polk County say even with Governor Scott's decision, they aren't giving up hope. High-speed rail reached a peak before. It went in a valley, and it had a chance to come back again. And there will be another opportunity. How soon that will be, well, time will tell. Some leaders say they'll likely have to wait until another governor takes office before high-speed rail ever has a chance again. And since Rick Scott just took the office last month, that means, well, the wait could be at least four years. Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.